Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. This morning I got to set up a temporary fence in the dry lot up here using bucket T posts. <music> For those of you who have seen previous videos, that is the bucket T-post. I'll give you a closer look here. That's it. It's just a T-post set into a, a bucket full of concrete. The next set of, that I make, I'm going to cut, cut the bottom off, but so that the little uh, tab sits under the concrete. But the, these have been working good for a couple of years, so they'll work for this. So I need to put these away for the winter as well, so I need to get down way to the end down there and collect all of these. What we normally use it for is to, we set it along the road, string the rope, and the horses can eat the grass along the edge but this year the yellow foxtail has really taken over so next year I have to kill all this and get a, a better grass growing here uh, hopefully orchard grass that is growing over here in this pasture but it's it's a long way to go so well, there's the cat here to help so it's going to rain in, oh, maybe an hour or so, so I better get going. <laughs> the cat just jumped up onto me and I caught her. <laughs> she is the craziest cat. She'll jump on my shoulders, she'll ambush me and jump on my shoulders from a tree. Usually I don't have a camera with me, but she can climb all the way up me, up to my shoulders without putting her claws out. And then she'll stand on my shoulders. One hell of a talented cat. Okay, I gotta get to work, kitty. For this is a shovel and this torpedo level with the magnets on. You want to get these T-post buckets pretty level so they don't tip over in the wind. But that's about it.
Okay, from the looks of it, I only need one right there and then another one right over there to close the gate. That'll do for the two days that these are going to be here. Well, that does it for the buckets. I broke one. Well, all I did was lift it up and the side broke. The handles break real quick too. The Menards buckets are not as good as the Homer buckets you get at Home Depot. I rarely shop at Home Depot, but I will go there to get the Homer buckets and then I'll get whatever else is on my list. So, Menards, get your damn buckets from some other place. Now, I just need to pull this slow feeder off. The old hay had a good amount of curly dock in it, which is, you know, crap. So, I gotta pull this bag off, get everything out of here. I'll go burn it because I don't want the curly dock seeds to get into my field. I'll go empty this out, burn it, put it back on, and this is all no easy task, but I'll get it done. Put it back on and fill it up. <laughs>
Okay, it's starting to drizzle now, so I better wrap this up. My wife has to get that fence on and get the horses up here. Um, you can see that the slow feed bag is now, well, it's pretty full, but it'll keep filling as, as the horses eat it. It'll um, fill from the barrel here. And then we'll probably add a little more tonight. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and have yourself a great day.